Hi Crypto Devs, Liarco here, and in this video about the ERC721 collection project from the Ashlips Lab, I'm gonna show you how to use the Truffle dashboard, an amazing tool that allows you to use our CLI commands without ever touching your private keys, even with hardware wallets. Let's get into it. Okay, in this episode we are still gonna interact with the chain using the CLI, but this time we're gonna send each transaction through MetaMask. By using this method, you won't need to expose your private keys, but you will need Truffle dashboard as a proxy between the CLI and your MetaMask wallet. You will also have to confirm each transaction manually, which can be a fair compromise between developer experience and security. This method doesn't require an RPC node as well as the private keys, so you can leave those environment variables as default or remove them completely from your env file. Of course, now I'm showing this to you from the example file, but you will actually have to do that in the real one. Once we are ready to deploy the contract, we can run Truffle Dashboard in the background. So I open a terminal and I run Truffle Dashboard. The dashboard is going to open on your browser and then you can connect your wallet to it. Please make sure you pick the right network here because that's the one that will be used when running the commands. The network name is also shown up here. So let's deploy our contract to a real network. The command for this is yarn deploy dash dash network and here we specify truffle in order to connect to the truffle dashboard. Each command might require one or more transactions, so you should keep an eye on Truffle Dashboard to see if anything new is popping up. From the dashboard, you can inspect the transaction data, and we can process or reject it. I'm gonna process it. And MetaMask is gonna open showing even further information about the transaction. We can check the gas price and the expected cost in our main currency. This works as any other transaction on MetaMask. So now I will simply confirm this. And now we just have to wait the terminal to show us the contract address. And here it is. We can copy it and update the collection configuration. Now we can also go to the Block Explorer and check out the deployed contract. Here it is. But it's not verified yet. Let's do it. We have to run yarn verify the contract address and then dash dash network truffle. In the previous episode I explained why this process might fail, so please be patient and simply make sure to follow all the steps carefully. Now I would like to show you what happens if you run a command that requires multiple transactions. At this stage, a perfect example would be opening a pre-sale. So we're gonna skip the whitelist sale, but it's just because the pre-sale requires more transactions. The command is simple. It's yarn pre-sale dash open dash dash network and then truffle. Here I made a simple mistake. The command is gonna fail because pre-sale is one word actually. We can see that some transactions are running and the script is gonna tell us exactly what's happening, step by step. First of all, it's updating the token price. Once that transaction is confirmed, it's then gonna update the max mint amount per TX. And now the last step. We have to unpause the contract. And it's done. The pre sale is now open. As you saw, for each transaction, we had to confirm it on both Truffle Dashboard and also MetaMask. Once done, the sale is open, and we can also verify it from Etherscan. Here you see all the transactions. 
each command in package.json works exactly the same. There are no arguments to pass since everything is already set in the collection configuration. And whenever you are ready to work on the main net, you can simply switch network in MetaMask and keep running your commands on the Truffle network. All the information from the previous episode is still valid. This is just another way of signing and sending transactions to the blockchain. And that's all for this video, I hope this will help you keeping your wallet safe, and if you have any questions or anything you would like to see in the next videos, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and bye!